Blank Forms here. Check me out on Instagram or wherever you listen to music. In this video, I'm going to go through a bunch of tape machines from my collection and play two tape loops, the same two tape loops on each of them. First, I'm going to go back to back so you can hear the different characters of each machine. And then I'm going to go back through and talk a little bit about the pros and cons of each machine. And so the two loops are going to be Prophet 6 synth pad and then a beat, kind of a wonky beat made on the DigiTac. Okay, here we go. The Tascam 424, this is a, I guess MK0 or original, however you would call it. The first one made, this is, uh, this is the machine I most often recommend to people to start with. It's got uh, a great feature set that kind of can just cover a lot of bases. So you got a mixer that sounds pretty good, it's not the best sounding Tascam mixer, but it's pretty clean, the EQ is nice, you can do everything you need to over here. It's got effect sends, it's got, and this is probably the best part. It's got three tape speeds, which it's the only machine I know of that does that. Double, normal, 
and then the super slow one, which is great. It's, it's muddy. It can be hard to work with once in a while, but it gets the job done. And then, as with many of them, pitch control. So you've got multiple ways to control the speed. It's four track, and the raw tone of it is pretty good. It's not my favorite. The 414 sounds a little better, but it has its own limitations. The Porta 1 has its limitations, but also sounds better in some ways. But this kind of covers everything and still sounds pretty damn good. The 414, right off the bat, you're going to notice this one only plays at double speed. So the both loops are going to sound you know, twice as fast as on the other machines. This is a great machine. It's also one of the most popular. You see these selling a ton on reverb and whatnot. It is, like I said, only double speed, and that's part of the whole deal. This unit was made for doing mix downs, and so the plus side is the mixer is super discreet. This has the best sounding mixer of any of the Tascams I've used. The EQs are great, the panning's great, and uh, overdriving through this. In addition, the, the 424 overdrives beautifully as well, but just sending a really hot signal through this mixer and recording it back out is a great sort of distortion overdrive device. So we have just the one speed, just double speed, but we do have pitch control. So you get about a major third in either direction. I like this one especially for recording. The signal path is beautiful for that, and uh, it tends to come out really clear. So oftentimes I'll record things on here and then play them back on other machines that can play them slower. That's what I did with both of the tape loops in this video. They were recorded on this, but then you're hearing them on all the machines. The Porta 1, this is one of my favorites. It's only normal speed, though you do have pitch control. You don't have double speed. You don't have the super slow speed, but it does sound beautiful at that normal speed. I'll oftentimes record on the 414 and then play back on this. I really like the playback on this thing. It's actually not the most discreet. It's fairly noisy, but somehow still the, um, the signal tends to come through really dynamic and really nice. The EQ is great. It doesn't push the highs quite as much as the newer units like the 414 and the 424. This one is, by the way, I believe made before all of those more plasticky looking task amps. And just in terms of build quality, it's great. Uh, no effects send on this one, but otherwise a great machine. Oh, also it has uh, separate outs for each of these, and the outs skip the mixer. It's just direct out, so you can't do anything here to affect them. But I oftentimes love to make a tape loop and then stem all four lines out into a DAW via, via this machine, and then do whatever mixing and creative stuff, editing, that I'm going to do in the DAW. All right, next up. The Porta O2, normal speed only, Really basic mixer, just levels and uh, panning. It's got what you need to start with tape loops, but I'm honestly not the biggest fan. You have no speed control or pitch control. Uh, the mixer, at least on mine, I haven't tried others, so this could just be mine. But uh, the tone coming out of this thing is pretty noisy as compared to my other task games, and nothing feels super vibrant out of this tape machine. So I have used stuff out of this, the first track on my works for tape and piano record was recorded on this, so it definitely can can do some things, but uh, it wouldn't be my first choice. All right, next up. The Marantz PMD 221. So we're getting a little simpler here in terms of machines. There's, uh, there's a few variations on this for something, something that a lot of people use that is in stereo. This one's just in mono, so you're not hearing all the signals, you're just hearing track one. The plus side on this one is that the playback on that one track is really nice. I've gotten some really great results recording just uh, one line out of this guy. It's also got the speaker, which can be a fun sort of lo-fi option for uh, getting different tones and things. I don't find myself using this often to record tape loops. I'm sure you could, probably sounds great, but I do uh, use it for playback in a, in a bunch of different settings. Okay, so a Walkman, or this is actually made by GE, so a portable tape player from the, the 90s or maybe even the 80s plays at normal speed. It's been modified, obviously, by a little operation called Foldy Makes that I highly recommend. It can just play as normal with just volume control and really no other controls over the sound, or flip it here, and you've got some tape speed control. It's just playing mono, so you're only hearing one track. 
But again, a great uh, starting point for like putting things through pedals. I like the tone quality through this. It's obviously going to be compromised compared to a Tascam or some more uh, high-end machine, but sometimes that's exactly what you want. Library of Congress, C1, crazy old machine. I just got this, so I haven't formed my own opinions on it yet, but uh, it's got some speed control. You can pick which of the four lines you're listening to, one and two or three and four. It's got this tone shaping knob. It's all, in my limited experience with it, pretty lo-fi, pretty wonky sounding, but I think it's going to be fun for certain settings. <laughs> All right, so there's a quick overview of all the machines I use and playing some things back to back on all of them. Give me some comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for checking this out. And also check me out on Instagram and anywhere you listen to music, uh, albums and EPs out on Bitbird and Pure Magnetic. I'm Blank Forms. Thanks so much.